be uh, getting ready to pull some Gs here, friends. So and we're going to descend down just a little bit, get to about 10,000 feet. Then we're going to see how our bodies are feeling, all right? So we're going to do a little bit of a G warm-up. Griffin puts the plane into a gradual dive, using gravity to pile on the speed that's going to create the inertia that will punish our bodies. I flex my muscles, push my feet against the floor, and breathe how Cam and Dale instructed me. All right, so we're coming to the right for three Gs. Ready, hit it. The plane rolls hard, and I see sky to my left and ocean to my right. There's two, two and a half, and there's three right there. All right, we're coming back to left for four now. All right, squeeze the legs. I am straining every muscle in the lower half of my body, which literally feels like it weighs close to 700 There's pounds. Abs. There's four right there. Squeeze the legs, push out with the abs, and we're rolling out. All right, we'll catch our breath here for a second. Oh, man. You ready to bump it up to six? Give me one second. All right. I take a moment to resituate and catch my breath. Just a little bit of a workout. Oh, yeah. And I realize right. I am sweating profusely. When you are ready, sir. All right, we're coming to the right for six Gs. This means squeeze the legs, full G straight. Ready, hit it. This time, the roll to the right is almost violent. There's five and a half. And the plane shakes as it's buffeted by the air. There's six. The Gs don't come on gradually. It feels like I'm being hit by a thousand pounds of sandbags all at once. Hey brother, how you feeling? Started graying out a little bit, but, uh, oh man, that was a lot. Well, I'm glad you're having fun, and, but the next one I want to show you is the uh, minimum radius turn, all right? And all it is, it's a high G maneuver, all right? So, so we'll roll the aircraft 90 degrees angle bank to the left and basically just pull level. That first 90 degrees of turn, about seven Gs, okay? Woo. So it'll be a full G strain. And then as we continue the turn, we're gonna keep going at about five Gs as we back it off just a little bit. But even though we're backing off from seven to five, you gotta keep that full G-strain going, all right? I start my breathing, trying to get as much oxygen to my brain as possible, and put my head back against the seat. I know what's coming this time, and I know it's gonna hurt. You ready to go? Yep. All right, coming left for the mid-range turn. Ready, hit it. 1,200 pounds of crushing pressure hits me all at once. Immediately, I gray out, and I'm seeing the world from the bottom of a long, dark tunnel. I'm still fighting for consciousness and flexing my legs, even my limbs feel miles away. I hear Griffin taking his own G-strain breaths, but to me, everything's echoing. Even the skin on my face is being dragged down to the floor of the plane, but slowly, finally, the pressure eases. Colors run back into my vision, and the plane levels off with the horizon. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Oh my god! <laughs> nice, nice work. How you feeling? Woo! Almost lost it there. Oh. Real, real nice work. We had seven Gs on that one. Jesus Christ. Did you lose a little vision on it? Yeah, no, I definitely grayed out. And then, uh, oh, you gave me a break at just the right time there because I was taking a nap. <laughs> well, I heard you working back there, so I don't, woo, I'm pretty sure you didn't go all the way out. No, but uh, really, no, really there. nice work. Oh. The full oh. consequences of what my body just experienced catch up to me all at once. I am soaked in sweat, I cannot catch my breath, and a wave of nausea wells up to remind me just how close I came to blacking out. The laws of physics are rules, not suggestions. They cannot be broken, and they don't appreciate being defied. They will make you pay for hubris. I swallow a belch and try to power through. 